Hey guys, Brent Hall here in front of Thistle Hill. We've, we've been in front of this house before. We looked at this, hey, what can we learn from the past? Remember we looked at the brickwork and the masonry. Well, if you look closely, there are some damages and some things going on in this house. We have the opportunity to restore maybe the most historic, prominent house in Fort Worth, and I'm pumped. I'm so excited. Come join me. We're gonna walk around the house, but this is a year, two year project, and I can't wait. Come join me. So this is early 1900s in Fort Worth. And so where is Fort Worth? What's going on, right? Fort Worth starts as a, as a frontier, an outpost. We're on the Trinity River, downtown Fort Worth. You know, 1872, the railroad comes. But in the early 1900s, there aren't houses like this certainly aren't houses that have stayed so original over time. And so this really is a unique project because while there are older houses, McFarland over there that we've toured 1896, right? That's a little bit earlier than this out looking over the bluff. So there are houses of this period, but not houses as original as this. So McFarland and, and Thistle Hill are these two houses that really have never been touched. I mean, when I came back to Fort Worth from North Bennett Street 30 years ago, I looked at this house and was just, you know, blown away by the quality, by the materials, by all the stuff going on inside. So it's a it's a huge honor for me to be a part of this project. I want to show you around real quick kind of what we're doing, introductory video. But this is really going to be a teaching lab, guys, and we're going to really use this to learn how to restore a house. So it should be really exciting, it should be really fun, and we're going to make this house perfect just the way it was 1904. So you'll notice if you look up at the eaves, we've got some rot, like what's going on? It's pretty common in a house of this period to have integrated gutters, okay? Now an integrated gutter is you don't have a gutter hanging on the outside of your eave. It's actually integrated into your roof line. It's wrapped into all the entablature. It's wrapped into the cornice. And then you would see a downspout come through the bottom of the soffit in between those modillions and it drops down, okay? because the gutter is up in there, right? Well, what's happened is over time, even when those gutters are made of copper, right? Even when they're really done with a hundred year material, the, the, the copper seams break where they're soldered and things like that. There's damage that happens. We're restoring the windows, okay? So we're taking out all the windows in the building. We're gonna take them back to our shop and we're gonna store them just like we do with the courthouses and the depots and the schools. A lot of oak windows, right? Some of these windows haven't been painted for very long in that the paint's been scraped off and you'll notice that that wood isn't rotting, right? We've got some seasonal checks and things like that in the wood, but no rot, which speaks to the quality of the materials that were used in this house, old growth wood, everything else. We're taking off the roof. We're gonna redo the roof on the underside. We're saving the Louis Regia tile and we are gonna put a new underlayment on there, a better, lower, long lasting underlayment and then put the roof back on. But really a lot of stuff isn't changing guys and we're not revamping this whole thing. The interior is so original, first and second floor, we're really not doing very much. A bunch of changes have been happening in the basement. We'll go look at that. And there's a little bit of changes in the attic. This property is probably two acres, maybe three acres here. Really it's this, you know, downtown Fort Worth right there. This was perched on a hill overlooking downtown. But we've got a tea house on this property. We've got this masonry fence that runs around the outside. We've got amazing ironwork on the front. We've got a carriage house we've got to do, pergola. There's an old water tower. So there are grounds things that we're doing here also to restore it so that, you know, not only is the house going to be in perfect condition, but the grounds too are going to be restored and taken care of. But really we're restoring, preserving, caring for this building so that it lasts another 120 years. So we're also restoring the masonry, okay? And so you've got things like this where the cut stone, we've got gaps. Water is obviously getting in there. We're gonna be taking care of that. See this kind of gap between the, the, the brick here? This is a lime mortar, okay? So lime mortars typically in these older houses is a soft mortar. You're gonna see that on the carriage house as well. But that soft mortar oftentimes will wash away. And so we're gonna to have to restore that. We're gonna clean this stone. There has been 
elements like this that have been repaired with concrete later, we're either gonna you know, put a new piece of cut stone in there or we're gonna restore that. But there's areas where bad repairs have taken place in the past and we've gotta fix those. But look too, if you look at this mortar joint right here, okay? It is a beaded mortar joint. And so what that means is the striking tool that came across here was a, it has a bead detail. And you can see it, the bead detail right there, especially clear. We're gonna be cutting out that and rebeating this whole building so that it goes back exactly the way it was, right? That's an historic detail that is pretty prominent on you know pre-1900 and, and, and early 1900 buildings. And so we see that on courthouses and details. It's a wonderful detail that speaks to, you know, the skill of the mason. This piece of glass right there, that's about to fall out, okay? So we, we've got to restore these windows and realize that we've got on this side and the other side, we've got this curved little addition, this little bow here. That's a curved sash, okay? So that sash actually moves like this and that glass has to be bent to that radius. And so, we don't want to break that. <laughs> All this paint, right, is, is going away, but the wood still is very sound, okay? That speaks to that quality of the wood. It may be some integrity issues. We may just need to put it back together and make it go right, but we'll do a whole video on the carriage house because there's so much in there. It's the second carriage house in Texas that was built both for cars and for horses. So it's an amazing structure. We're gonna restore that. Let me take you down to the basement, show you the third floor, some of the unseen areas, right? that that'll be exciting to see and, and exciting to restore. So we're underneath the house, right? We're in the basement. And you know, one of the fun things is gonna be a testing lab, right? That where we're sleuthing around, figuring things out. There is old knob and tube wiring in here. Then there's regular wiring, there's cast iron plumbing, there's copper plumbing, there's metal ducts, there's, you know, no ducts. There's all kinds of crazy stuff that we're gonna use this. There's, this is the old wash tub, right? So you got the, the, the wash sinks right there. Uh, there was a coal bin in the back. They would have come down these stairs and then this would have been the helps bathroom. So there's a bunch of fun things. Look at this over here. We've got things like this that we're still not sure exactly where it is or where it came from, but the ironwork in here is awesome, right? The thickness of this piece of metal and the way this is pierced and run through here, this is probably dating to the early 1890s, 1900s, very similar to the ironwork out front. We're gonna be piecing that back together, sleuthing where it came from. Look at this, we've got all these sash. Wonder where these sash came from? Like, what are sash doing back here? These are the questions we're asking ourselves, like how did these end up in here? Do these go to the carriage house? You know, what's really going on? So when you get into a, a space like this, in a house like this, that really hasn't been changed much, you're seeing a lot of original things. Look at this, you know, here's the original light fixture coming down, and this would have been a knob and tube wiring. There would have been a little switch right here where you can turn it on and off. So we've got these lights coming down, right? Very original, original way they lit the place. You know, they've never really tried to update this part of the house. This would have been a ballroom. The other owner used it for storage, so, we're actually gonna restore and put a bunch of stuff up here as we get it cleaned out. So kind of you've seen the bones, you've seen the, the structure. That's a big steel beam that was put in so that, you know, different framing things. We'll talk all about framing and, and, and how we're restoring the framing, but you're seeing kind of some original spaces. There's, t there's rooms where the help would have lived in these upstairs rooms. There's a bathroom over here. So you're kind of seeing that stuff. It's really fun and I can't wait to keep restoring it. On top of the world right now. I'm so excited to be doing this project. But look at this awesome Ludowici green tile roof. Unbelievably beautiful. Look at the green tile on the wall as well, right? We've got these, these wonderful details, this architectural capital. I was talking about the integrated gutters. Look at this here, right? We've got the integrated flat gutter and the integrated gutter that goes into the, that underneath. But this is what's leaking. You can see that it's copper, right? You can see it from the green and stuff like that, that it's a copper material. So that's a hundred year material but it needs to be restored. This, unfortunately, has just been neglected over time and it just needs a little restoration. It needs a little TLC. 
when I see details like this, right, when I see this beautiful pediment and the split fillet on the, uh, on the pediment as it goes up, the egg and dart, all in cut stone, all carved, right, and a beautiful granite medallion, right, it just makes me excited. It makes me think, wow, we're restoring this jewel. Be sure to follow along. There'll be a playlist on the YouTube page where you can follow along Thistle Hill. Really excited about sharing this information. Be sure to comment if you have any questions. You know, this is an open book process where we're really showing people how to restore things the right way. We've got a great team. It's gonna be really exciting. So please join us, follow along. I'm Brent Hall. Thanks for watching.